So, after our North American Continental Championship added, uh, we missed one uh, uh, or two interviews. Uh, so we want to thank our Australian sailors for uh, asking in the comments why a couple of them were missing. Uh, yeah, we basically did our best what we could over there uh, and did as much interviews as we could. Focusing on the USA sailors, of course, because this is North American uh, Championship after all. Uh, but regarding the Australia, Zvonko, do you think uh, this was a good event uh, as a uh, preparation maybe for the next year's uh, Glastone um, World Championship in IOM? And of course, we like to use this opportunity maybe uh, to invite uh, sailors over there. Yes, uh, definitely we invite everyone to go there. I'm expecting I will also be there. Uh, there what I saw will be similar conditions like this and what we have in uh, European Championship. So it is definitely good preparation, was good preparation for the Australia. There you go, you heard it. Hope to see as many of you in Australia and uh, thank you guys for all your uh, comments and tips. Uh, but let's continue with this interview. Uh, so uh, what do you think, uh, what do you consider the key to success in a competitive IOM sailing event like the Continental North American Championship? Well, uh, every major championship is kind of different, but uh, you have to be able to have a speed of the, I would say, top boats if you want to compete on the top level. And you definitely need to know how to do the proper start, do your maneuvers around the, all the marks and uh, some tactics if you manage to get good shifts. It's, you can give more, more power to the boat or vice versa. If you have uh, enough wind, then you depower. And we basically have most of the time kind of this depowering mode at uh, this championship. Uh, in your opinion, how has the IOM class evolved over the years and what trends do you see in the future of RC sailing? Well, uh, IOM class is developing from the beginning, I would say, on constant pace. It's a box rules, so we get uh, better and better boats in the, on the market and racing. If you compare all the models, you will see it's, they are more difficult to drive, use and more slower. So I think uh, development will continue definitely. And uh, that's basically it. Okay, uh, but beyond sailing, uh, what's your favorite thing? Uh, what was your favorite thing to do in Florida uh, when you're not on the water? Well, the skip rent us uh, the, his monster truck, that was kind of fun. And uh, also, as on all, all other events, it's very fun to have uh, spend the evenings with uh, friends and uh, other people that are racing there. So you always meet new people and you spend some time with the people you already met on the previous events. So it's like EOM community, it's very good. Yeah, lots of play people praise this uh, after sailing, uh, uh, just sharing, sharing the, uh, some time together and, and just laughing and uh, even talking about non-sailing stuff as well, of course. Uh, okay, for the last question, we'll go uh, a little bit also uh, uh, maybe uh, off topic. Uh, what is the most fun IOM event in Croatia uh, as your home country? that you would love to invite sailors to come and experience? Well, uh, we have uh, in Rogoznica, it's also a big event in uh, up and down in sailing, but we also the fun thing is we have a navigation race where you sail basically <clears throat> around the island. So it's uh, in uh, three stages and you have passing finishes and so on, like a big boat uh, offshore race, I would say something like that, but it models the fun time thing is that we all start together so if you have 30 40 boats on regatta we all start together this is not something you can experience in uh, up and down in regattas and also we do our master class so lots of people come there and we spend seven days together and teach and sail and race it's also very fun to come well there you have it. This was it from Zvonko, who managed to uh, win the first medal, uh, first place and gold medal on this uh, North American Continental Championship. And uh, thank you very much uh, for this. Uh, I mean, this is a triple crown now uh, behind you for covering all the continents. And uh, we wish you best of luck, uh, uh, Zvonko, on all the other events. Uh, uh, if you want uh, to uh, have a final word and invite all the other IOM sailors, uh, go for it. Yeah. Uh, it was fun to do all these three events, especially since I managed to win them. It's even then more fun usually. 
what it was and uh, see you in Australia or Rogoznica or wherever you have major regatta.